Hi, welcome to the award-winning Ed Brown Show. Got a treat for you. Whatever you're doing, you better sit down because we're going to talk about the number one conference in the country. That's the CIAA. And today we have a special report from Edwana Larkin, the Larkin Report. And we have a young man here, Delmar Harrell. And he's going to tell us something about the scouting and the intercollegiate uh, uh, types of things that are going on. I asked him basically about them referees. You know, everybody want to <laughs> pop the referee. But anyway, here's that one I like. Welcome back to the show. And welcome back from, what is it, Charlotte, North Carolina? Yes, Ed. It's good to be back. But we had a wonderful time in Charlotte, North Carolina. As you know, this was the 65th annual men's basketball tournament and the 35th for the women's uh, held isn't in. That, isn't that a record of some kind, uh, conference? Uh, you say 65th. Yes, 65 years that this conference has been in existence. And it was held in Charlotte, North Carolina. The theme this year was CIAA Rise Above. And Mr. Harrod can attest to the fact that they had risen <laughs> above this year. Everything right. was just fantastic from the entertainment to the vendors and the educational program it was just wonderful uh, to have witnessed this 2010 basketball tournament and as you mentioned you know this black tournament is it's the oldest black athletic conference in the nation that's what I okay want you to tell and <laughs> it is the largest basketball tournament in terms of attendance. I mean, the arena was sold out. Mm -hmm. Okay, There were people, people everywhere. everywhere. Um, another thing that this tournament has done, they had a six-year contract with um, TV, two TV stations, mm -hmm. ESPNU and right. ESPN Plus. So the championship games were, were televised. Right. Uh, the school, That's the way I saw it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The I, school. I was looking for you in the audience there. <laughs> <laughs> the schools that are involved in this conference, Bowie State University, Elizabeth City University, Fayetteville State University, Johnson C. Smith University, uh, Livingstone College, St. Augustine's College, St. Paul's College, uh, Shaw University, Virginia State University, Virginia Union University, hey, and this I'm, year, I'm wait a minute, <laughs> this year, Shawan <laughs> University is a part of this CIAA tournament. Is that right? Yes. That's fantastic. Lincoln coming in next year. Yeah, and Lincoln is coming, Lincoln in, coming next in next year. year. Right, good. Lincoln University. Mm -hmm. Here we see, this was the education day that oh, they wow. had at the convention center Beautiful. in Charlotte, North Carolina. I mean, there were kids everywhere. This is downstairs in the convention center, but upstairs they were kid, kids. They divided that. They had the high school students downstairs, and they had the middle school students upstairs. Uh, Elizabeth City State University was represented there. And, and uh, as far as the attendance, now, a lot of people want to now. She's telling who won it. You know, we want to know who won everything. I'm, I'm <laughs> going to let our scout, Mr. Oh, okay. Delmar <laughs> Howard. They, they're okay. waiting, you know. He's going to let uh, uh, the, the scout, I'm going to let him give us that information. Okay. Mr. Well, Harris? Well, first, I would like to thank Ed for having me on your show mm -hmm. and then Wanda having me. Uh, the, 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 the conference and the, and the tournament is fantastic. And once you go, you, 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 you want to come back. Festivities are yes, fantastic. Absolutely. And the basketball yeah. is good. St. Yeah. Augustine's won this year the men's basketball tournament. They had a very good team. And uh, Were they, they favorite? Yeah. They, they were they, favorite. They were number one seed. Oh, they, they were number one seed. So, right. But a lot of number one seeds got knocked out. A lot of number two seeds got knocked out. Is that right? But it just so happens that uh, the number one seed won and it was and, and, and it was very good for the tournament. Mm -hmm. Great. And then yeah. refereeing was good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, you yeah, wanted to know about the officiating. Good. Okay, yeah. what about the women? The the, the women was good. Uh, Elizabeth City 
mm -hmm. uh, yeah. won that. And, Did they, and didn't they win it last year? No, no, no. I, I, I don't think repeat. they won last no. year. No. Oh. I forgot who won last year, but they didn't. Mm -hmm. We thought Bowie was going to pull it out. Uh -huh. we what really happened with Bowie? What was we don't, that? I, I just don't know. The uh, concentration was gone? No, I don't know if it was concentration or it was just too much Elizabeth City. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it really was. But uh, they, they, they did a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a good job. Uh, Coach Pope did, does a very good job with Bowie. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but the men, they disappointed a lot of people because mm -hmm. I thought – and. They were going to do much better than what they did, but mm -hmm. they were knocked out the first day. Mm -hmm. First yeah, round. And they, had, and they had the play of the year. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duke, Duke Cruz. Duke, Duke, Duke Cruz was the play of the year. Fantastic. The, the uh, Wizards need to take him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but 6'8". Six, six, <laughs> right. Yeah. But, six uh, eight forward. He yes, hustles yes. all. Hustles 200%. Yeah. Yes, Offense, he defense. He's correct. aggressive. Correct. Yes, right. He is. Correct. Right. Uh, so uh, I think that uh, next year will be, well, how many years in, in Charlotte? Uh, this will be our sixth year? Six years in yeah. Charlotte. Yeah. Six yeah. years in Charlotte. Years. Really, it, 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 when we first went there, I think people were skeptical about Charlotte. Mm -hmm. But now the people have found out how to make money in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, that have, always changes they, things. <laughs> money always they changes things. They have yes. the young people. They have, <laughs> they have so much going on for the young people now that don't even go to the tournament. Mm -hmm. They just come into Charlotte mm -hmm. for to participate in activities, mm -hmm. and this is this this time was the busiest I've ever seen it during yeah. the day. And as you can see here, we were at the arena here, mm -hmm. and uh, these young women, they're high school students. They mm -hmm. were steppers, mm -hmm. and uh, they performed several times during the course of of the tournament. And as we know, the tournament is always the last week. In February, February 23rd through the 27th, here is St. Paul's uh, homecoming queen, and her name is Shaylin Davis. Um, there, this is still at the education day that they mm -hmm. had, and she has brochures about the college, and they, uh, the students come up and talk to them about all of that. Next, you see, this is Mr. and Mrs. Fayetteville. Uh, University, Amber Lindsay and Rashad Pennant. And those students really represent their, their school well. Oh, oh. Outstanding. There we have Miss St. Augustine's mm -hmm. University's mm -hmm. uh, homecoming queen, Amara. Mm -hmm. That's Lincoln University. Uh, Lincoln, they Pennsylvania, will, they right? will be. Uh, in the tournament on next year, but this was their homecoming queen as she was helping mm -hmm. uh, those young people there at the education day. Mm -hmm. Delmar, tell us about the quality of players. You know, we get a lot of people talking about the different conferences. You know, with so many conferences mm -hmm. around, uh, uh, highlighting well, the CIAA, but you being a scout, uh, mm -hmm. how many uh, young men there you felt would have a good chance of making the pros. Well, the only thing about that, uh, Ed, is that, as you know, the Division I take most of all of our top ball players. Right. Wow. And what happens is that everyone think they can play Division I and go to the NBA. Mm -hmm. But it's not so. No. But so. You only have so many positions. That's right. <laughs> so I think that uh, when they find out that it's not what they think it is up in Division I, mm -hmm. then they want to come back to the CIW, which is Division Two, mm -hmm. And I think this year you might have about three or four players who might have a chance mm -hmm. of, of participating or trying out for one being drafted. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. But they have uh, this uh, envi uh, envi environmental uh, uh, camps that they have, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, developmental camps, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. that they have at the, the, in Vegas, and they have one in Orlando. Mm. And I think if they invited there, and they also had a Portsmouth tournament mm. that they had been invited to. So then the pros would see them play there. So that would be a good chance for them to show their wares of what mm -hmm. they can do. Mm -hmm.